Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new, hello, my name is Bree. Um, today's look is gonna be on this frosty blue look right here. Me, Elsa just went ahead and bursted ice all over my lips and that's why I'm like this. I was going for like a halo. What am I even saying? So guys, this tutorial is only how I apply my eyeshadow. It's not a full face tutorial. Um, what am I trying to say? Um, it's just strictly eyes. I feel like this video would interest you. Just keep on watching. Thank you for all the support that y'all guys give me. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I was going for a frosty look. I know like blue isn't really like Christmassy, but I was just like, what if we did a frosty look? So today we're gonna be doing this frosty look and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off with my concealer and we're gonna use the Master Conceal in light 20. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dab it on my eye like this. And I also have applied it before because I went back to look at my footage and everything was like blurred out but it was like really harsh and it just looked, it looked bad. So I'm just going ahead and I'm starting all over again. Now that we have our concealer on, I'm not going to go ahead and put anything over that. I'm just going to go straight in with the eyeshadow and I'm not wetting my brush because of this, you know. It's already like wet enough to where my my eyeshadow is gonna have a lot of pigment and I'm using this flat brush I'm going in with this blue and I am going to be patting it I'm not gonna be doing a back-and-forth motion I find that whenever I pat it's a lot easier for me to blend so I'm gonna be patting this above my crease in well in and above my crease because this is a really big brush so once i've done that i'm gonna go in with the darker blue and this is also in the morphe 35b palette I'm gonna be putting this in my crease and also doing a padded motion. I recently found out it's a pencil brush. So with this pencil brush, I am going to be putting this in my crease. So I've noticed that like when I'm doing my videos, I tend to leave my mouth open a lot. Please pay no attention to that. Go back in with that first brush. We're just going to be blending that and patting that again just to like blend it out a little bit better. I know I just said that. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. But it's funny because Alex, he's always telling me. He's like, um, why do you have your mouth open? And like for the longest time, I guess I just thought that he was just like making fun of me in a loving way because he would bring it up so much. But no, like now I know he was so serious with me. So I'm going to try to remember to like close my mouth. So, do you see how easily that blended out? It looks so good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that dark blue. And I'm just going to be putting it in the inner corners of my eye just to darken this part up a little bit. I'm going to put it on the inner and outer corners of my eye, sorry. that first blue I'm gonna go ahead and do dabbing motions and I'm also going to be putting it right 
here where the blue and the black meet up. I don't know why I was holding it like that. So once we have that done, so I have this really small brush and I'm gonna be using it for the black just so that I have a little bit more control. I'm going to be putting it on the outer corners of my eye and the inner corner of my eye. And with this color, I'm going to like barely bring it into my crease. So next, I'm going to go back in with this Master Conceal in light 20, and I am going to use my flat brush. And now I'm just going to be carving out our little halo, and I am going, this looks beautiful on its own. I'm just kidding. And I'm going to start off right here in the middle between those two blues. And I'm just going to go upward with it. Try to stay in the middle as best as you can for right now. Don't go in with a heavy hand of concealer. You want to start off small and work your way up. So with a flat brush, I find that it's easier to apply this concealer up here. And I'm going with my crease. And then I look up like this so I could see where my concealer needs to stop. And that looks like a good point right there. But I'm going to be bringing it out a little bit to the side. So now that I went ahead and I put this concealer on, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off this brush because I'm going to be using the same brush. Sorry, but I don't have brushes. I said it before. Once I'm done with the concealer, I'm then going to go ahead and use my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I am going to be going in with this shimmery aqua color. I'm going to be placing it right over the concealer. Now that we've done that, I'm then going to go in with my Hard Candy Glitter Stay. <laughs> And I'm going to be packing that on. And this is the hard candy. And this is the hard candy glitter stay. So the glitter I'm going to be using today is the NYX Brilliance Glitter in number 6. so close to the camera. Alexis, no, don't be one of those kids. Your brothers are. So guys, if y'all see my palette, my kids got into them. Alexis, hey. Hey, you've been making all this noise for what? Hey, you've been making all this noise for what? So I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mini Mascara.
I'm going to go in with my duo glue and the, and the lashes I'm going to be using are the pompadour. So right here I'm just applying my Lash Duo glue and this is where I'm going to also be putting some glitter. So now I'm going back in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex and I'm just going to be putting that on my lower lash line. And whoa, look at your girl. OMG. So frosty, so glam, so it. I'm so hungry. So I went ahead and I put on my foundation, blush, highlight, all the good stuff. Um, I planned to have put it in my video, but things just didn't work out that way. So this was just strictly an eye tutorial on how to get this frosty look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas, guys.